hello everyone welcome to another video and in this video i want to show you two things yes i did already create a script which uh, can generate those wall openings for uh, cable trays uh, ducts and pipes and why i did uh, go back now to that script it's because i did receive information that the script which i did create uh, in the version uh, of the Revit 2021 doesn't work on the Revit uh, 2022 and I will show you later in the Dynamo why uh, that, that previous script doesn't work in this version of Revit that is the first thing and the second thing is okay uh, since we are uh, gonna update the script let's also introduce some new features and the feature which you al also did ask uh, is uh, numeration of uh, those wall openings and also uh, I did add a dimension so now uh, you can for each uh, wall openings have unique number and also when you want to annotate those openings you will also see uh, what is the dimension of that opening so for the rectangular uh, openings we will have as information uh, width uh, and height for round openings again we will have this unique number and diameter and uh, in order to see uh, those annotations on your views and also in order to uh, see those numbers um, in the schedule uh, the key for that is the share parameter uh, Dynamo will automatically create share parameter, it will automatically populate all those values, but you can also, if you don't want that Dynamo create that share parameter for you, uh, you can create it also manually. Uh, Dynamo will uh, take a look of all those groups which you have over here, and it will took first group, and in that group it will generate this parameter over here. Uh, what is the good thing about uh, that part of the story when you want to generate share parameter? I have also some check. I will show you later in the Dynamo. Uh, so if you generate that parameter for the first time, it will create and you will have all those values. Then if you run the script for the second time, uh, you will avoid creation of uh, that parameter if that parameter already exists. Now I will delete all those wall openings I will generate new so we don't need now uh, this level so let's again split those windows and I will run the script so you can see the generation of those uh, unique numbers okay and you probably know if you did watch my last video uh, for this script that you can either generate uh, those wall openings by category or you can generate all openings at once uh, let's f at first go with category by category so let's say that we want to generate openings for the cable trays we want to use this Revit link so okay over here we can see those openings for the cable trays over here we can see those unique numbers uh, and now also it, it is a good thing how how we know a number and the size uh, so basically dynamo will generate uh, into the one field uh, two information it will uh, generate this unique wall opening number and in the uh, row below it will generate this second information so uh, it is not like uh, that we have over here two values but in the schedule you cannot see uh, that is because I cannot resize uh, those rows over here but if you click on any cell over here you will see actually that you have number and then you have this information for the size so if you export this schedule to the Excel you will see uh, entire list of, of values over here in the schedule that is a little bit strange you will only see if you do not click on the cell just that uh, value in the first row uh, also when you click to the wall openings and you go over here to the properties so again 
uh, this number will be unique wall openings number and over here you will see information regarding the dimension now let's add uh, wall openings for example for ducts ducts have round and rectangular wall openings so we did have 17 uh, those wall openings now we have in total 28 and over here we can see that we have actually 28 fields so we don't have a duplication of the numbers all those numbers are unique and finally let's also generate those openings for pipes okay so the last number is 50 in total we have 50 elements and that is correct so for the pipes for the ducts for the cable trays uh, if we have duplication of the numbers or if we did skip any number uh, those two numbers will not match in that case so okay one more time let's let's delete all openings and let's generate all openings at once so we don't have at the moment any wall opening we will use this all option MEP Revit link and again 50 elements and I will go to Dynamo to show you what I change between those versions uh, now this is uh, updated version of the script in the previous version of the script you didn't have this entire part over here also this middle part over here was not the same and you didn't have this group of the nodes over here and some of the nodes over here so at first why that previous script which is built for the Revit 2021 didn't work for the Revit 2022 again like I think uh, uh, it's not the previous video it's the video before that uh, the issue is uh, with the display units uh, because in this uh, Revit 2022 API Revit is actually using forge units and because over here this script and it did provide source over here so uh, this Python script over here will recognize what is the thickness of the wall for each wall and also uh, this um, uh, part of the script did call for a display unit uh, that doesn't work for the Revit 2022 same same issue like uh, with that previous uh, video and uh, pipe insulation script that will actually be the pain for all old scripts uh, that need to run uh, in the Revit 2022 so all the scripts which call display unit will need to be changed otherwise they will not work that is the issue number one issue number two in that previous version of the script I did uh, rely on this uh, buy morph nodes and I did create uh, that script when uh, package was in the three point sum version then in the version 4 a lot of things uh, did change so now you have separate uh, nodes for the data and separate nodes for the results so I did try to update that uh, just to pick up all those nodes which I am now missing in the version 4 and to connect uh, everything but it, for some reason that didn't work and because over here we have a lot of nodes and a complex story behind this script uh, for me it was easy to delete basically this entire part over here and uh, do it again and this time I did try to use just uh, those native Revit 2022 uh, version and Dynamo 2. Point, I think 10 yeah nodes so over here I did basically convert link elements to elements and this entire part now uh, use just uh, those native nodes that is the first thing uh, second thing for that new feature in order to annotate wall openings and to uh, use those uh, values in the schedule uh, we will need to create share parameter I'm not sure if I already explained this in the previous videos but actually uh, what is important over here very important thing is this loop over here so when you run this script for the first time 
uh, it will create this uh, share parameter you can change the name if you want uh, and then when you run the script again it will not create share parameter again and again so no matter how how many times you will use the script you will always have that one share parameter which you did uh, create what is very important it is not the uh, same thing if I create share parameter and if you create share parameter. Okay, let's run. Run the script. So, for example, for ducks we have rectangular and round, so we will use that over here. So, uh, what is very important with share parameters? Okay, I have wall openings over here if we take this wall opening over here you will see that uh, this tag will actually pick up the value for this uh, openings parameter but uh, when you generate your share parameter uh, you will need uh, to edit this tag why because this share parameter which was created at my side uh, have some unique identification number and if you are running this script on your project and you did create this openings parameter, you will also need to go and edit uh, this uh, generic model annotation tag and again to uh, call your own share parameter. So over here we have a warning. Why? Because I did already uh, generate that parameter and the script doesn't want to create it again. Uh, now, what is very important for uh, this unique part of the numeration of the opening story is that uh, you have a lot of different cases uh, because you uh, have existing values for the round wall openings, existing values for the rectangular wall openings. Uh, it can happen that you didn't create any wall opening, so you will not have any values. It can happen that you didn't even generate a parameter. So, I have a lot of different, let's say, checks, uh, which will determine the state in which you have your project. And based on that state, you will either have, for example, maximum values or you will not have any values. Uh, what that mean is actually when I run the script, I will took a list of all generic model elements. For those elements, I will try to read this opening parameter. If I find, for example, like over here, that you already have some wall openings and those wall openings have those values for the openings parameter. Uh, what is very important for me, because I will probably generate 10 more or 20 more openings, uh, I need to know from which number I should start and which number I will use to be next for my next wall opening. So over here we did read uh, all the elements and that parameter and those values. And now because in this uh, one cell we have actually two informations. So actually we have a number and in the next row we have information regarding the dimension. We will need to split that, we will need to pick up just numbers, we need to convert string to number. Uh, and for example in this case if the final number is 11 then okay the maximum number is 11 we will need to start from 12 and over here we did run the check but uh, only when we generate those elements we will need to assign new numbers and new dimensions and everything so again um, this script tried to predict a lot of different uh, states in which you can be in order to assign those numbers and that is why I have very complicated uh, philosophy over here to try to cover each case for the process where I need to assign different numbers and I really did try to make this process in a way that, that I will always have unique wall openings numbers uh, and that is pretty much it thank you for watching Bye.